Common Agricultural Policy, known as the CAP, will start in 2015. As we develop the new schemes in England, we're determined to do things better than when the current CAP scheme started in 2005. We're particularly focused on making it as simple as possible to apply for new CAP schemes. To do that, we're building a new online service. This is the CAP information service on gov.uk. It is a new service that provides information on CAP schemes and helps you manage applications, agreements and claims online. It will help you to easily check and manage land information online throughout the year at your own convenience. The service replaces all previous CAP schemes and application processes. The CAP information service provides you with a quicker, simpler and more secure way to apply for CAP schemes. We are building this new service in stages so we can test it with customers and so that you can get ready for the 2015 CAP schemes before the end of 2014. From summer 2014 onwards, we we'll slowly increase the number of people we give access to until it's ready for everyone to use. Customers will initially be able to check and amend personal details, check business details, check the land information we have for your business, give an agent, family member or others permission to act on behalf of your business. As a one-time only process, you need to register with gov.uk to use the service. Government gateway logins will no longer work for CAP information services. Instead, customers will authenticate themselves through an independent identity provider. Once customers have registered and established their identity, this logon is reusable across digital transactions for HMRC and DVLA. Once registered, customers will be directed to their homepage. Here is an example of an account for Mark Griffiths. Using CAP information service for the first time, customers need to accept the service's terms and conditions. Keeping your personal details up to date saves you time when you apply for grants and schemes. On this page, we ask you to amend or provide missing information such as national insurance number, which is a new data requirement for CAP customers. Note this new customer reference number. This is unique to you and will be important if you're sharing permissions with others. Here, you can also select your contact reference. Any details you update here will be used from January 2015 onwards. My account page. On this page, you're able to see any messages the service has generated for you, such as verifications of land changes. We need you to tell us if the business details for businesses associated with you are correct. Here is a reminder of how many businesses need to be checked. On this screen, customers need to either confirm details are correct or call the CAP information service if any are wrong. Land overview page. For each of your businesses, we need you to check and confirm the land parcels and land cover. To save time when applying for 2015 CAP schemes, you can start telling us about any land features such as ponds or hedgerows that will apply to your land from the 1st of January 2015. If a family member, employee or agent acts on behalf of your business, you can give them permissions. By returning to the My Account page, we can select a business. Here we see who can already act on behalf of the business and the level of permissions granted to them. We are going to add an agent called Mia Wallace. Mia has already given us her customer reference number. Flow through the stages. Now we have given Mia permission, we have completed all the preparatory actions for CAP 2015. Either that or we've confirmed our personal details and given permissions to others so that they can check on our business and land details.